Today, you're learning how GPUs power machine learning and how we're breaking NVIDIA's grip to make compute cheaper for everyone. Let's go! GPUs, or graphics processing units, are like supercharged engines for parallel math. Think thousands of tiny cores crunching numbers at once. They're perfect for AI handling massive matrix operations for neural networks. A single operation? That's a flop. Modern GPUs hit teraflops, trillions of operations per second. For example, an iPhone 16's neural engine pumps out 100 teraflops. 10 iPhones? That's a petaflop. Now, NVIDIA rules this space, 80 to 90% of the AI compute market. Why? They're CUDA platform. It's a walled garden, locking developers into NVIDIA's pricey GPUs. CUDA lets coders write kernels, special functions, that run in parallel on GPUs. Imagine a matrix multiplication. Each output element gets its own thread zooming through calculations. But here's the catch. CUDA only works on NVIDIA's hardware, and their GPUs, like the H100, cost $30,000 for a petaflop. Compare that to AMD's 7900 XTX, $1,000, for a tenth of a petaflop. That's a huge price gap. So how do we make compute cheaper? Commoditization. It's about making flops, these number crunching operations, equal across all GPUs, no matter the brand. The goal? Break NVIDIA's moat, lower costs, and let everyone, startups, researchers, you name it, build AI affordably. But it's tough. CUDA's optimized for NVIDIA's tech, like their high-speed HBM memory. Alternatives like AMD's HIP or open source OpenCL, they lag because they're not as fine-tuned. Enter tensor compilers like TVM or MLIR. These translate high-level AI operations into code that runs on any GPU. NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, you name it. They use something called intermediate representations to bridge the gap. Think of it like a universal translator for GPU code. This is the future. Open ecosystems where flops are fungible, costs drop, and innovation soars. Why does this matter? Cheaper compute means more people can train massive AI models, like billion parameter language models, without breaking the bank. Plus, it's pushing AI to your phone or laptop with edge computing. AMD's catching up with their MI300X chip, and cloud providers like AWS are abstracting hardware entirely. Even China's building their own chips to dodge NVIDIA's lock-in. So here's the takeaway. GPUs are the muscle behind AI, but commoditizing compute is the key to unlocking innovation for all. Flops are free. Fungible, low-cost operations promote scalability. That's the dream.